Hello everybody and welcome to another lunchtime sculpt. I'm Alex Antuna and today I'm going to continue on this model. So the last video uh, I actually had, this is where I left off. I had some time, jumped in this morning and then the other late night jumped on and ended up with this. I just kind of uh, wanted to add some details and you know how you get in the flow and uh, going from there so that's where this is ending up I'm starting to try to add some more uh, teeth detail in the face I'm trying to give them a little a little more scariness to them I guess if uh, what do you think about it I wonder why that is look at that that's weird let's figure this out it says I can't divide anymore why Let's see if the other one does. Yes. Why did this one stop? Hmm. That's weird. Let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. So, got this. You know, the other day something like this happened. And it wouldn't let me do something. I don't know what it was. Anyway, we'll, let's fix it. So, I don't know if this is a bug or what. But I can't push divide. So, let's figure it out. Let's Let's look into this. Anytime something like this happens, you just make a copy, right? Here's a duplicate. All right, let's turn off the old. Let's isolate this model. I just got the jaw and everything looking there. I still got the old model. If I go back up, still there, go down, new model. Let's go ahead and delete lower. So now that's gone, and I still can't subdivide. So let's Z remesh. Let's see if something comes back. If it wakes it up. If it doesn't, we're gonna dynamesh it and go from there. Let's see what happens. Sometimes it'll get buggy. I don't know. Um, this happened before with something else, and I was just like, "Why are you doing this?" So it's processing. Remesh, remesh. Let's see what happens. Sometimes I hit my limit, but even when I hit a limit, it'll say like, "Hey, you've." hit your limit do you want to you know subdivide anyway and I don't know maybe something weird got hit or going on let's see what happens it's a heavy model not too bad it's at 12 but let's figure it out let's see it's not as fun as watching the you know sculpting but Sometimes you got to figure things out if you run into a roadblock, and I'm at a roadblock right now, so let's figure it. something going on. See, it came back. It came back. Why? Let's close holes just in case, and let's smooth that just in case, and let's go ahead and remesh one more time, and you'll probably end up uh, having something like this happen, and you're like, well, what do I do? Usually, I'll duplicate it. Your mesh isn't gone. The details there. You can always reproject onto a new mesh, and go, you know, from that point a lower mesh, and then reproject. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm losing all this detail. It's kind of getting muddy, right? And you'll see this in a lot of videos. So now I'm going to turn this on, solo off, and let's turn off everything else, all these other things. And what we want to do is project all. If you have any color information, this is color geometry. It's projected on, and it'll project again. I'm gonna subdivide, project. It'll slowly start wrapping this higher res mesh with my details. So if, if I go to solo, turn this off, you start to see it come back. I'm gonna turn it up again. Turn off this, and let's see. And this usually happens with. Um, even whenever you're just trying to like figure out, do I want to dynamesh? Do I want to lose my subdivisions? This is how you get subdivisions back. You just kind of remesh it onto itself, project it down, and then you got another new mesh to work with. And if it's buggy, like it just did, we're we're clear to go. So maybe one more time. What do you think? Let's divide it one more time. Divide. So when we're now about. It says 2 million. Earlier it was like 12. This is this. There's a lot 
uh, zeros. What's this at? 12. Okay, let's project it one more time, and I think we have enough information to carry forward. And if this works, then we're going to toss this one in the trash and move on. So don't, don't let something like that stop you if you run into an issue. Even save it out, re-import it, that might even fix it. There's, there's never, like, as long as you got something to see, there's always hope. You can slice off a part of a mesh and, you know, re-project that. It's projecting a lot of detail, I guess. Let's see what's going on. Come on, little guy. And if it doesn't work, I'm probably just going to have to re-import this again. Let's see. This is not typical for it to be taking this long. <sighs> Come on, ZBrush. There it is. It was it wasn't even thinking, it was just So there you go. Let's delete this, get rid of it. Sorry to drag you through that, but you're going to have things like this happen. Just got to figure out how to get around it. And so you can see, now we're back. Now I can drop it down and go back up. Let's turn on everything. Let's get all the stuff back. Let's get my stuff. Added some teeth. I wanted to kind of mold this in there. I don't know if these are going to stay, but we'll just kind of block something in for now. I guess I missed the tooth. Maybe he's missing a tooth. We'll kind of um, figure out the rest of it in a bit. Make a mouth cavity here. Yeah. There we go. Some detail here. Subdivide. Go ahead and get something going. This will be his lips. I've got more um, brushes to make some horns, but or teeth or whatever you want to call them. But we're gonna go just kind of block out some of this model to kind of get of them a little more form, a little more shape this way and that way so boy. there we go yeah the other way with his face was looking kind of weird when I was looking at him I was just he kind of reminded me of um, a cross between Batman and the count from Sesame Street <laughs> so I was like let's let's get rid of that so I stretched this up pulled it down and gave him a little more kind of a, a beak I want him to breathe right here. This would be a, his nostril. So we're going to probably add this in just enough to have little pockets here. I'm going to start sculpting this a little bit better. I like these kind of models because they just kind of help you zone out. And that's what this is zoning out. This is for fun, just to kind of keep the creative mode going. Start adding some of this detail back in. Just trying to get just a little bit, a little more chaos. Start to put little pocket pits here and there. sun's starting to come out again so it's gonna probably start changing up this weather it's been nice nice spring weather lately haven't really had that in the past few years so 
The garden's liking it. I'm gonna make these make regular horns. We can add details later. Let's go ahead and move down the body. See what we got. Let's go ahead and go this way. And I'll pull up the references in a bit. There are references somewhere. I liked on uh, some of these references. Let me pull it up. Pull it over. You can see that there's horns, horns like kind of a this going on. Hey, look at that! They got gills too. That's cool. Might have been subliminally. See that kind of a little bit of that theme. Little spiky, spiky stuff, spiky stuff everywhere. Kind of like something you don't want to grab, right? I like this. He's got like a big helmet. It reminds me of a Lord of the Rings, though. You know, that one main goblin guy. He looks like he's got armor and then like these spiky gills and this armor on the shoulder. That's cool. Looks like an iguana. Got some stuff going on. Some crazy breathing thing on them. See, I like this stuff. So let's figure out how to do that let's figure out a way to get this detail in there and where do we want it where do we want that detail let's block out the forms though let's get the let's get that anatomy back up always on top I like this this kind of flows he's got a little bit of muscles there, let's scale this down and go from there. So we got like that. I need to do those fingers, don't I? And the feet while I'm at it. I'm just trying to fill in the blanks. Fill in some form. Go there. There. I want this to be like a um, bunch of claws or what. Let's go ahead and stretch that out. Let's give him some something to work with. He's got to be able to put his hands down, right? Let me push this up. We'll start making the fingers or the claw, whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and spread this out. And give him some form. Let's get the bottom. Let's get this, and then we can work from there. If I do one, I can just duplicate it out, and go from back and forth. But do I? in there we got a few minutes during lunch had a, had to deal with some ants answers coming in a lot so I had to deal with that during lunch get a lot of ants and everything else that wants to wake up wake up and do their thing this can pull into there. Let's give it a muscle to kind of hold on to this. Right there. So now you kind of got like that. I'm just tuck it into the armpit. something here kind of build that up there we go starting to come closer together the other thing is I didn't know if I want to rig this character in blender just for fun it's something that I been doing a lot more is trying to get into blender and animation and rigging Stomach going. Kind of 
gradient. So we have a muscle here and a muscle there, I guess. Kind of attach in there. Just kind of A monster, so I'm just kind of working my way with this. Gotta be He's got that kind of put some, I think I'll put some extra secondary details later. But right now, this is kind of the form. I kind of just jumped in and didn't, I didn't really, I, it's somewhat of a form, but sometimes you gotta think it out, think it out what you want it to be. And how big of a person, you know, inside of here that we want uh, to be also some other factor. So let's go, let's get this. I need to pull up some anatomy so I can actually get this looking a little bit more decent. But he's probably going to have some stuff on front of it, so it might not matter either. Uh, so I liked having him having an armor kind of thing going on. Let's beef that up. Let's beef it up. On top of that, I still got to get him some skin. He's gonna prounce away. I'm gonna have some mass though to make him look kind of big too. There we go. Like a big dog. And he'll he'll probably have a little more features coming off of his back. Just think it out loud. There we go. Kind of scale this down. And I'll probably have some like just thinking for future just just food food food. But more of an insert mesh brush that I'll probably make, make a custom one so that we can actually kind of follow through and give them a little bit more detail. But getting to the end of the lunch period but I just wanted to start something and I've been trying to work on this a little bit on the side too just sometimes I do want to record and it's just easier for me to just start I don't want to lose I want to lose momentum I'm trying to get going you know but I do want to put something to show this work in progress I think tomorrow, if, if the day's good to me, and I can get in here, I'm gonna probably start doing those fingers, fingers and like the little uh, insert mesh brush, just kind of get that going. Make a make a new little brush. It's always fun making brushes. Sometimes you get like one that you really like, or I'll dig up some of the, my old brushes and see where those are. They're usually in my hard drive, but I gotta find them. I got a folder that I got him in, but I gotta, I'll save you the time on that. So let's zoom in on him. And let's try different textures, see how it looks. Ooh, look at that. His teeth on the inside, I still gotta probably put more, even though he's got these outside ones. But how does that function? Does he have a tongue? On here, and it's gonna be easy to just uh, probably, let's just put a placeholder and 
extract, extract, accept, and turn off, and we're gonna remove this and Dynamish. And you can smooth it out and either do what you want with it. Boom. I got a tongue now. Quick and easy. Kind of fills out that gap. Too crazy with the tongue. All right, and then you can just add more detail as you need. Symmetry, nope, symmetry. Just go from there. Solo, just go in there. Look at that. I got something else masked. Let's do this. Uh, auto groups, boom, delete, hidden, done. There you go, got a quick tongue. And I'll just keep going. So, but yeah, this is about where I'm at for the lunch period. We had just a few more details. And I also worked on this this morning, so it's not so, uh, so far behind. And there's that and this was the previous so you can see how much you can get done in a morning just kind of jumping in and doing something so yeah i'm gonna call it a stopping point there so again hope you're doing well now see you on the next video later